Hi, it's Diane again at Capadia Designs, and I keep having people ask me how to go about setting up um, one of the more complicated layered uh, projects in Design Studio. Design Studio will make it so much easier for you to cut out these uh, character cuts on the Disney cartridges and other licensed cartridges. You simply have to take the time the first time you do it to set up the file, but then if you want to make the same uh, character over and over again, it'll be much faster and easier. So I'm just using Cinderella um, as my example here and from the Happily Ever After cartridge. This is the second Cinderella and I've set her up to cut at five inches. Um, once you choose your size, you don't change your dial size at all. Um, you keep it at that size and all the other bits, the hair and the eyes and the mouth and so forth, will cut at the proper size. So here's my Cinderella and then what I've done is I've added all the different layers that I need to cut and I've placed them all on the same mat so I could cut them out at the same time but I've made myself a little bit of a cheat sheet here. On the next mat, uh, which I don't cut, this is just for reference, I've shown what color and how big a piece of paper and where to place it on the mat. So in other words, for Cinderella, the base of Cinderella, I need a piece of black paper and technically it doesn't have to be quite as big as I said, but just to make it easier, I've said a four and a half by six inch piece of paper to do the uh, gloves and part of her sleeves there is a, a light blue color and that is four and a half by three and a half and you can see it just works right the way down the line. That's her hair which is yellow, our blonde, blonde three by three. Uh, the darker color of her dress here is the dark blue which is two and a half by two and a half. Her eyes and her lips these are white, these are red, they're tiny little bits and so you only just need a one by one square. I didn't even write that down. And then uh, flesh color which would be um, the actual uh, hands and uh, face bits that show here. Actually her, she has gloves on so it's not really the hands but the, the bits that fit around it. And that is in, uh, I just said flesh color can make it whatever color flesh you would like her to have. So really the only thing I'm going to cut from on this file is this page here and this is the only page I would need to keep in my um, file if I wasn't trying to explain it to someone uh, because when you preview things everything on this page would preview in that funny green color each page has its own preview color so in order for me to make it make sense I actually put each color on a separate page with the sizes called out as you can see as we go through these I don't really need to do that but what that does is it makes me able to preview it on this screen and now I have the colors that go behind each uh, piece showing up. Um, because Design Studio previews from the top mat down, the actual piece that's going to cut out of it just shows in the light gray. I set the color here for light gray. So that's just a really quick and easy way to, um, it's not quick and easy the first time because you do have to think about it and set up your, your squares and so forth, but once you do it, now anytime I want to make this Cinderella, I can just pull out my um, mat, put all my pieces of paper in the right spots, and then cut from this page and everything's set to go. I do have um, several of these already on my blog. I've actually explained this in words and pictures, but because a lot of people say they like to see it on a video, I did a little video for you today. I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me. Thanks so much. Remember, you can look at this on my blog at capadiadesigns.blogspot.com. Just look in the Disney Princess uh, label in the side column. Bye for now.